Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a pretty pan introduction and this is the roulette collab. Isn't it? Yeah. Roulette collab round five that Alexi and Rebecca they created a few years ago. I'm a little bit late to the game. Throughout the projects that they have opened up to others, I have felt overwhelmed with other projects. So now is the time, even though I have a lot going on, but I think I'm doing good with my products enough for me to justify doing another project even though i'm going to start one next week again so yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this project started on monday on the 15th and this is going to end in august on the 15th i think it is rebecca that made a playlist for everyone that has joined this round so i will link that down below plus the master list spreadsheet thing where all the categories are in so you're just supposed to randomize six categories and then choose your products to match the category basically and then you just work on them yeah <laughs> so i guess that is everything i need to say and I'm really, really excited about it. I'm subscribed to a lot of people that are doing this project and I have been like, I really want to do it, but I can't, can't handle the project right now. But now I feel ready, even though I'm a few days late to the game. So yeah, I hope you guys don't mind it. Uh, I'm excited for me to join. Alexei, she told me I should totally join because she is in the project that is starting next week as well. So she totally get me or and where I am coming from. Let me pull out random.org because I'm not cool enough for have the pretty random app because I don't have an iPhone. I have a, a OnePlus. So I have here random.org and we are going to randomize six categories from random.org. So let me see if I can see a swarm here. The first one is 42. Next one is 10. 45. And people that have done this collab probably know what the categories are corresponding to the numbers. I don't. I have not looked at the spreadsheet yet because I wanted it to be more fun that way and more random. Oh, you can see what numbers I pick because sometimes I don't say. 48. Yeah, that was six categories. Let's see what they are in the spreadsheet. 42, that is an item that highlights, brightens, or illuminates. Number 10, which is a unique product. And then we have 45, that is something from a lesser known brand. And then we have 28, which is a product you wouldn't repurchase. Number 16, which is a product you regret buying. 48 is yeah, something you have to consider decluttering. Yeah, I think that uh, those are pretty good categories for me to start out uh, with in this project. And if I didn't say this is rolling, so when you finish an item or hit your goal or whatever, you roll in a new product with a new category, which is really exciting. So yeah, let me choose my products and then I will be right back. Hopefully I will not take too long because I'm actually in a time limit when I film this, but yeah. Let me choose my items and I will be right back. Two seconds for you, maybe half an hour for me. Okay, that was a little bit hard, but I'm back. I have my products. So, so let's take the categories as I pulled them uh, from random.org. The first one is an item that brightens, highlights or illuminates. Set that in the wrong order but i chose my w7 lift and sculpt face shaping contour palette so this is highlighting highlights so you can highlight and snatch your face so this is how it's looking like it is a cream contour palette highlight and contour palette and i have chosen the lightest shade because 
I'm really really fair right now. So I chosen the first shade right here to hit pan on. And if so, no, I'm going to hit pan on it. I was going to say if I can finish it, I will, but I will much rather have a new category. So I'm going to try to hit pan on the lightest shade in this palette. So that is the first category. So the second category is a unique product. And from th for that, I chose my W7 Lip Tripper Holographic Lip Gloss. And I think that is a unique product because you often don't see a holographic lip gloss in my mind. This is how it's looking like. It, it's brand new. I have not used it a ton. I swatched it a few times, tried to wear it and it's beautiful. I'm panning a liquid lipstick right now, so I thought this was going to be nice on top of it. So, yeah, it, I think it's pretty cool. So that is the second one. The third category is something from a lesser known brand. And I have, most of my collection is W7. And that is not a lesser known brand anymore in my mind, because they just went to Coachella with a lot of influencers. So I don't think... They are lesser known now, and Jeffrey Star did a video on them, and um, Lauren, <laughs> Lauren uh, May Beauty, she did a sponsored video with W7, so I don't think they are lesser known anymore. Then I went through my German drugstore makeup that I got in Germany. I found my Trend It Up Metallic Kajal Eyeliner, right? So this is a covery metallic eyeliner and turned it up is very very small and it's German so I thought it was very limited how many people knew turn it up because it is by DM the drugstore in Germany so I thought it was a nice one and this uh, color is going to match so nicely to the covery and oranges and gold eyeshadow that I'm panning at the moment so that is that. And I will mark that one on a piece of paper for next up. And I will mark them and take pictures and stuff like that. You know how I do my project pan videos if this is not your first video. And if so, hi, I'm Elizabeth. I'm from Denmark. So if my grammar is off, that's why. <laughs> okay, the next three categories was very much the same and one product that I have here could have been in the three categories by itself. So for a, a product you wouldn't repurchase, I was really like, I have a lot of makeup and I would not repurchase most of it because they are not holy grail and some of them I uh, discontinued so you can't buy them again and stuff like that. And then I was just like, let's just choose a... This is annoying. I hate it. <laughs> I hate the sound at least. I have not um, a lot of experience with the product though. I have an eyebrow pencil in my drop tint before summer, but that is almost done. So I thought this was going to be a good one to put in because I don't, I'm not working on a brow product. For the category, I chose my W7 Bow to the Brow uh, Brow Thickener. So I hope this is a product that you can fill in your eyebrow suit, and if not, it's just an extra product and. For that matter, I wouldn't repurchase it alone, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go with this product because uh, yeah, I have a lot of eyebrow products and I have a lot of brown eyeshadow that can be an eyebrow product. I actually have eyeshadow in my brows today, so I clearly don't need brow products. Then we have a product you regret buying. And I actually don't have a lot of products that I regret buying. So it was really hard to find one. But yeah, this could be Kigo Makeup Milano or Kigo Milano Makeup. Um, they're not that known, but they're not unknown as well. So I chose this single eyeshadow. It is in number 133. This is their Olaf formula and packaging and stuff like that. So I regret buying this because it's so, so dark and it's shimmery. I have not played around with it um, a lot, as you may can see, because the logo is still there. And yeah, I work on a lot of eyeshadows, but I thought this one could stand out because it's shimmery and dark and 
yeah for most of these items i'm just going to have a goal for using it 20 times not this one though yeah i'm panning the lighter version of this shadow and it's very very deep um so no i'm actually not going to pan on it let's use this 20 times as well let's just go like that and the eyeliner 20 times and the lip gloss 20 times for this one though, I would love for Finn to finish this. This is for the last category and it is something you consider decluttering. This is the item that I regret buying, I have considered decluttering and I would never ever repurchase this product at all. I don't even think they make this anymore because I bought it on sale and when stuff in the Danish drugstore matters is on sale, they are often just going to be discontinued. This is the Women London BB Cream Radiance 9 in 1 Skin Perfecting Super Makeup. Very light is the shade. I am very light. I'm really really light but 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 <laughs> yeah this is a perfect match when I squeeze it out but then it oxidizes and it is kind of pink. <sighs> yeah I'm going to try to make this work and if I can't make it work I might just as well decluttering it because that is a, another thing on my channel that I am working on something that I really really hate. I will try to make it work. So yeah, this is basically full. I have used it a few times. I can't see through it, but yeah, it's almost full. So let's see how long this takes. I am working on a foundation in my drop tin before summer, but that is going down quite fast actually. So maybe I can wear this on my off days, maybe, I don't know. I'm sorry that we are ending on a bad note, but I'm really, really excited for this project. I thought I have some great products right here because I'm working on a lot at the time and I'm going to work on a lot of items because I'm starting a new project soon. So if you haven't already, you should check out Alexi and Rebecca and all the other ladies in this collab. There are some on Instagram and here on YouTube and I'm really excited to uh, share this intro because I'm... Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to say excited one more time and then I'm going to end this video. I'm really excited, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a like, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on my next update or my intro for the new project pan that I'm doing next week. And I do a lot of project panning and empties and stuff like that on my channel. And if you have any video requests or ideas for me, please let me know the, <laughs> down in the description. No, let me know down in the comments. And until my next video, please take care.